Hey everyone, this is another rapid demo of Superbase and it is now February, so we're at about 11 months into building the hosted platform now. Um, we've got quite a few things to show, so I'm actually just going to highlight a few of them and then you can read about the most of them in the blog post. And I'll spend some time this month actually going through some examples and things that people are building, showing how easy it is to get started with Superbase. So, um, first of all, a couple of features. We have released this um, count functionality, and uh, anyone who's worked with Firebase knows that it's quite difficult to get the number of uh, documents in the collection. This is not a problem for Postgres, of course. So uh, here we have exposed this parameter where you can pass an account and anything that returns a row, you can use uh, anything that returns rows. You can use this count uh, to return the exact number or you can use um, this planned. And this is basically if you're going to be um, querying a very large table, getting the exact number can be a bit of a performance hit. So the planned will give you um, basically a rough number and um, it won't have such a performance hit. So check that out. Uh, we'll document it uh, inside our, our documentation. The next one is that we have a couple of new features inside our auth. Um, two new providers, one is Azure and one is Facebook, um, both co uh, community contributions, this one from Netlify itself and this one from one of our users. And um, if you want uh, to use these, you can now. And finally, we have uh, audit trails. This will show um, this uh, auth audit trail will show sort of logins, logouts, um, password resets, um, uh, invitations, anything that's happening with your users, and then logs, which are the lower level logs within your server. Great for debugging. Okay, so uh, there are a bunch more features that I'll link to in the blog post, but for now, I'm just going to show some examples. First of all is a server-side components, React server-side components uh, example, and this is forked from Vercel, but uh, we then adapted it to work with Superbase, and if you saw the news last month, or maybe in this end of December, uh, React are bringing out server-side components, very experimental, but if you're interested in knowing how you would run React on your server with Superbase, with auth and everything, then um, you can check out this fully functioning uh, example, and uh, it's within our um, organization. We've just forked it. You can go in, check it out, and have a play around. Another one is this tweet um, that I'm going to link to in our blog post, which is um, basically showing you how to get up and running with a Next.js app, a Postgres database, and uh, Vercel all hosted with just the click of one button. Lee um, will basically step you through in, you can see, less than two minutes how to deploy everything. And uh, yeah, you'll be up and running uh, in no time at all. Finally, two cool things that I think um, happened last month was um, this guy who's built, um, once again, very quickly in four steps, um, has used this um, quite cool thing called Umami, and it's basically a um, self-hosted Google Analytics using Postgres as a, as a backend. And of course, because it's uh, Postgres, then you can use Superbase as well. And uh, he has deployed this, uh, and then he uses uh, the, the schema and just copies and pastes it into his database. So if you ever wanted to do self-hosted analytics using Superbase, I think that's a great place to start. Uh, and then finally, uh, Kiki uh, has built a, um, a full uh, expo starter, and that's got tabs, it's got auth, uh, it's got everything using Superbase itself. Um, so if you're wanting to build mobile, I think Expo is probably the quickest way to get started with all our JavaScript libraries. Um, so I'll check this one out and uh, I'll, I'll link to this one in our blog and check it out. Finally, I just wanted to point towards some more resources. Uh, Ant this month has done a three-part series on auth. First of all, on JWTs, um, the second on table access, and the third on uh, user policies and row level security. So um, I'll link to these inside the blog post. Check them out. They're very, very useful if you're just getting started. So that's all for this month. Uh, enjoy, and we'll see you again next month.